Hi everyone and welcome back to Thrifted Living. My name is Kieran. In today's video, I would like to share with you a brand new thrift haul. I shared with you a new Thrift With Me video and I found so many fine items during that Thrift With Me trip. I went actually thrifting a few times in that video and I was just sort of trying to like combine all of the different different thrifting trips that I've been on sort of in like one video. Um, but I realized when I was editing that I have a lot of footage from like several different thrifting trips because I went thrifting a lot over my spring break from school and so I I'm going to be sharing many more thrift hauls with you and many more thrifting videos with you. Um, but I figured what I would do is I would share some thrift with me videos and then try to share like the following day a thrift haul. So I have found so many fun items and I just love thrifting. You guys know it's like one of my favorite things to do. And I shared in the video this morning, the thrift with us video that I shared this morning, that I just haven't really been making thrifting a priority. And I really have wanted to really start to make it a priority again in my life. I'm really trying to figure out the best ways to sort of like make time for everything. And I don't mean like, like be too busy all the time, but just I've been trying to figure out ways to make sure that I'm taking time to work on hobbies and share different things like that um, and just focus on those things in addition to work. Um, and you guys know that I've been struggling with, if, if you're not new to my channel, um, you probably know that I've been struggling with severe obsessive compulsive disorder and that definitely has been something I've been struggling with a lot lately. Um, and part of the reason why I haven't really been sharing much because I've just been really having a hard time. But I feel like it's such a win that I'm here today and I'm sharing another video with you. If you like thrifting videos as much as I do, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. And yeah, in the comments below, let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see related to thrifting and DIY. Um, maybe some Dollar Tree videos coming back soon. I. Yeah, I, I was just gonna go into a story about Dollar Tree, but I do have a Dollar Tree Shop With Me video that I hope to share this week as well. And I'll be able to explain a little bit more during that video. So let's just jump right into this thrift haul so you guys can see everything that I found. So I said earlier, I've been thrifting a lot and I haven't really, um, I'm, I'm not like separating things like I used to. Like when I would film videos before, like years ago, I would go thrifting, I would set everything in a pile and I would only film those items. And then like the next time I go thrifting, again, I would set everything in a separate pile. Um, I've just sort of been taking everything and just like putting it in the craft room. Um, and I haven't really been going through a lot of it recently. So this is just sort of like several different items that I've been finding over a variety of thrifting trips. Um, there are some, there are some articles of clothing. There are some things for my niece and nephew. Um, some toys, some vintage toys. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a, a like a, a haul that has a lot of different items in it. So let's just jump right into this haul. And I'm already like almost four minutes into filming, but you guys know I love to talk. So let's just jump right into this haul. I'm going to start with a couple pieces of clothing. The first one I found is is really cool. I think it's really cool. It's from the brand Kal Kaliche. Kaliche, I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely vintage. Look at how cool this top is. So it's this really fun, I think vintage um, button down. It's white with blue polka dots and it also has blue stripes on the collar and then also on the sleeves. It's kind of like a tank top. Um, there are some stains on it that I'm seeing now, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to, to get them out. Um, but I don't know. And it has like really fun navy buttons. It reminded me a lot of like, um, I, I feel like there's a picture of my mom maybe wearing something similar to this when she was pregnant with one, either me or one of my sisters. Um, and I don't know, it, give, it has like a sort of nostalgic kind of like, like feeling for me. Um. I might be wrong. Mom, if you watch this video, let me know. Did you have a shirt, like a maternity shirt like this? Um, I love finding things like that where they like, like give me like a nostalgic feeling. I just love nostalgia. Um, I'm realizing that the more and more that like I go thrifting and, the, and like the older I get, I love nostalgia. It's one of my favorite things. So this shirt was $6 and half off. And I just thought it was really fun, like a fun spring shirt to wear, something really lightweight. And um, it feels super comfortable. So I thought that was a good deal for $3. I actually think I only found two pieces of clothing for me. I also, I did find a couple 
one other piece of clothing that I'm going to share with you now, but it's not for me. Um, but this is the next item that I found for me. It is the brand American Eagle Outfitters. And I thought this was really pretty. So it's an off the shoulder top with like a gathered like shoulder. Oops, sorry. It's in like a denim navy kind of like material. And you know what? It's actually not denim. I thought it was like a denim like shirt, but I think it's like a knit kind of like a canvas kind of material, but it has bell sleeves and it has these this really pretty detail on the sleeves. And the blue is so beautiful. Like blue is my favorite color by far. It's always been my favorite color ever since I was um ever since I was young. And um I can't like I can't resist anything blue. It's just like my absolute favorite. And that detail that is on the sleeve is also on the bottom of the shirt as well. Um, so I thought this would look great with like um, white jeans or black jeans, really any color, um, and maybe even a skirt. But this definitely is just so so pretty. Um, this is kind of like a, a canvas material as well. And this reminds me of um, a trip that I went on with um, Sean, we went to Disney a few years ago, actually in 2019. And it's funny, I, I wore a lot of shirts like this on that trip, but it's funny because I was just looking on my memory card and I have like that whole trip vlogged that I only ever shared one video um, of because when I was trying to edit that video, I was struggling so much with my obsessive compulsive disorder and intrusive thoughts at that time. Um, and I couldn't like end up film, like editing and posting the video. So part of me wants to share that vlog. What do you guys think? Would it be okay to share that video like three years after I went on the trip? Um, I mean, I don't see why not. You know, I, I, I think it could be fun to look back and see everything. And I was thinking about actually sharing that on my vlog channel, um, which is called Thrifted Living Vlogs. I have that linked below in the um, description if you would like to check out that channel. But all of that to say, this shirt reminded me of that trip. And it was $6 and half off. So really excited to wear this top. So those are the only two pieces of clothing that I purchased for myself. And... Let me share with you another article of clothing um, that I purchased. And so this is a super cute find. Before I share this with you, I am not currently pregnant, um, but I've shared in the past that, you know, I like to find things at the thrift store, like baby items and things like that, just for whenever that happens. Um, but I saw this and I had to buy it. This is so cute this is like the sweetest uh, i don't even know like it's just the sweetest little outfit i definitely think it's vintage i have no idea like how old this could be but let me just show this to you really quick so it's this really beautiful coat and it has this absolutely beautiful embroidery on the front then it has a matching dress on the inside and then it has a bonnet to go with it it's so adorable it was ten dollars and half off um it is let's see it's for it says it's a 12 month um size but it is so cute and i don't know like if you guys have any idea how old this could be let me know what you think in the comments it's in perfect condition there are no stains on it um no rips no tears nothing but like, it's so cute. And I just like, I love it. I want, I just want to see like a little baby like walking around in this. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just think it's so cute. The material is so soft. Who knows when we may need this. Um, you know, if we may need this, we ne you never know. But um, I just thought it was so cute. I, I couldn't pass it up. Um, and it's just absolutely adorable. Those are all of the clothing items that I found. And then I found some books and some toys and some like home decor items. So let me share with you the home decor items first. Um, I found a couple like tablecloths, I think you would call these. Uh, but like, I don't really know how to describe them. So they're almost like a table runner, but they have these really beautiful like embroidered details to them and these really pretty patterns with flowers. And then I think that those are apples on that. Um, 
It's really, really beautiful. This was six dollars and half off. I also found this one, which I thought was really pretty as well. I think I like this one more than the other one. Um, but it's this really beautiful, again, like a tablecloth, table runner. Um, but the flowers are so pretty. And I love how it's like a, a, like a cutout material kind of, or like a design that's like the embroidery work was done and then the material was cut around it. Um, I know that has a name, but I can't remember what it's called. So <laughs> if you guys remember what the name of this style um, of sewing is, or would it be even sewing? I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys remember what this type of um, sewing is called. Let me share with you a few books that I found. I love to find um, teaching resource books and I have a toy that's making sound, that's what you hear. Um, so I love to find teaching resource books. I think they're really helpful in the classroom. I like to find books that are focused on specific seasons or different themes. Um, I think they're great just to sort of like have a bunch of information in one place um, to help you like be able to use it a little more easily in your classroom. So I found a few resource books. The first book is called Alphabet Adventures. On the inside it has several activities that you can do featuring each letter. And this book was made in 1992. You guys know I love like older educational resources. I just think they're so cool to be able to sort of like look back in history. I'm really interested in the history of education and sort of looking back at like what the focus was in classrooms. Then I also found this book. It is the Reading Teacher's Book of Lists. And I actually don't really know a lot about this one yet. I have to look a little bit more into it. I just looked really quickly inside of this book. This is actually a really great resource. On the inside, it has so many different categories. Oh, it says like list seven. It says suggested phonics teaching order. And then it shows easy consonants, short vowels, long vowels, with the final E rule, long vowels with open syllables. It's really, really cool. Then it also gives like, like science vocabulary for the inter intermediate grades, um, geography vocabulary. This is really, really helpful. Um, so I am really excited that I found this book. Um, and let's see, this book I think was a dollar and I realized I didn't tell you this one. This one I believe was also a dollar. So great resources.